So today in this video, I will explain how to construct a line that will bisect this AB as in it will divide AB into two equal parts. So let's start. Okay, so the first step is to select the leg with the needle. You need to place it at one of the ends of the line. I am selecting this point A. So I need to place this pointed part here and then you can move the other leg so that you can adjust the gap between them right and you need to go more than halfway along this line so this gap should be greater than half of the total distance you don't need to measure it with a scale or something you just take an approximate distance and this gap between the legs should be fixed you should not change it along the process of constructing this line Next, we need to draw an arc above the line, somewhere over here and then below the line. Now, we will just repeat the same process but from the other end. So, I will place this pointed part at B. And we will draw two arcs, one above the line, another one below the line. And as we can see, we have intersection point. We just need to join these two intersecting points to get that line bisector. We can also call this line as the perpendicular bisector because this is actually at 90 degree with line AB and it is dividing the line into two equal parts. This line is also the locus of all the points which are equidistant from A and B. Suppose if we select this point, the distance of this point from A and B will be equal. Similarly, if I select different point, this gap and that one will be same as in they are equidistant from point A and B. If I select any random point on the line, the distance between the point from A and B will be same. So individually, if I joined all the points which are equidistant from A and B, this will be along this red line. So that's why it's also called the locus of all the points which are equidistant from A and B.